So, okay, so, well, that's what we are here to show our people, that the Bible was written to a specific group of people. You know what I'm saying? It's not about a color, it's about a bloodline. You see what I'm saying? Give me um, Acts chapter 5, verse 31. It's, it's not a, um, a color per se, because look at that brother right there. You know what I'm saying? He, he light-skinned, right? You know what I'm saying? Look, that brother over there on the corner. You know what I'm saying? And then look, that brother right there, he would be considered a so-called black man, but he bright too. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we are here to show is that it's not about a color. It's about a race. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Read that. Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. Him hath God exalted with his right hand. So this is talking about Jesus Christ. Read. To be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel. To who? To Israel. To who? To Israel. See that? Read. And forgiveness of sin. So Christ came for the children of Israel. So now that's a race of people. So now if I ask you, what's your nationality? What would you tell me? Because your nationality is what race of people do you descend from. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, you have the Caucasians. You know what I'm saying? The so-called white man. He had, you have French, Caucasian, German. So you, the, the West Indian black. Just according to my dad being black and Jamaican. And oh, okay, okay. So your dad is a black Jamaican. Yeah. Okay, so yes, you would definitely be Benjamin. Right. You know what I'm saying? But watch, this is how we know who we are according to the Bible. Because the most high left clues in this book, because as of right now, our people consider themselves what? Black, African American, um, Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? Jamaican, Jamaica is land of what is it? Wood and water? That's what it means. You know what I'm saying? You're not wood and water. You know what I'm saying? So just like African American, that's two continents. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't born on two continents. And it's also named after a white man named Scipio uh, Africanus and America Vespucci. They're, those two continents were named after two white men. We don't descend from white men. So how can we be that? You see what I'm saying? But these are the clues that, Mo, that the Most High gave to his people to know how you're going to be able to know who you are in the last days because and we all know that we went through slavery. Our names was taken from us. Our heritage was taken from us. Everything that we had before we came over here was taken from us, correct? So this is how we are, this is what we are able to teach our people is how to come back to who you are before they brought you over here on the slave ship. Right. So watch this, read that, Deuteronomy 28 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is Moses. After he led the children of Israel out of Egypt and gave them the commandments, he also gave them blessings and curses. You'll be blessed if you keep the commandments, but it'll be curses come up on y'all if y'all don't keep the commandments. Right? So this is a curse. Read 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. He said, cursed are you going to be in the city. If you go to any city in America and you go to the so-called hood or the ghetto, who live there? What race of people live there? Huh? The so-called black man, right? Hispanics, Native Americans. We populate the hoods in every city, right? Watch this, read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And he said, and cursed you're going to be in the field. Who picked cotton for free for 400 years? We picked cotton for 400 years for free, and we can't even get a free cotton t-shirt. You see what I'm saying? We worked in these fields for over 400 years for free. The so-called Mexican and are still out there in the fields to this day. You see what I'm saying? So this is a curse 
that Moses said was going to be on the children of Israel. Read verse 46. Let me show you for how long. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. And these curses are going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign. For a sign. What does a sign do? Yes. Like stop sign. It's a sign. It's an identifying marker, right? So he said these curses are going to be up on the children of Israel for you to be able to identify who they are for how long? And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. Forever. Meaning all the way up until today, you can go read these curses and find out who are the Israelites today. So watch this. Read verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. So, the Mo so Moses told the children of Israel, if y'all don't keep these commandments, you're going to have to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Now, when we want food today, because we got to fast forward to today, because he said these curses was going to be upon us forever, right? All right, so today, when we want food, who do we got to go to to get them? Because he was talking to the children of Israel. That's a race of people. So now he's telling you, you're going to have to serve your enemies, other races of people, for food. When we want food, what race of people we got to go to? Come on, McDonald's. The white man, right? He says, he says, in hunger and in thirst, when you want water, who we pay our water bill to? The white man. But the Bible called him your enemy, remember? Read. And in nakedness, when you want clothing, who we get our clothes from? Read. And in want of all things, and in want of all things, a birth certificate, a driver's license, an education. Look, we even had to go to them for, look at this. We even had to go to them for religion. All of these different religions was made up by the white man, slave master, Baptist church. That was made up in 1608 by John Smith. Uh, Mormonism was made by Joseph Smith, 1830. Where was our people at in these times? 1608, what was our people doing? Picking cotton, right? We were slaves. The only reason our people run around saying they Baptist today is because the slave master was Baptist. Right. The only reason your forefathers and foremothers was Baptist is because the slave master was Baptist. It wasn't by choice. They didn't bring Baptist uh, uh, people from Africa to America. We weren't Baptist before we came here. You see what I'm saying? So watch this. He said in one of all things, we. And he and that same enemy, listen to what it said he gonna do. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Did we have yokes of iron on our neck? He said that same enemy gonna put yokes of iron on your neck until he have destroyed you. We don't got chains on our neck no more, do we? But we destroyed, why? Because we don't know who we are no more. You know what I'm saying? It's just like if you got a dog. You tie him to a fence and you feed him long enough, after a while you can take that chain off his neck and he ain't going to go nowhere because he already destroyed. You see what I'm saying? Same thing happened to us as a people. The same thing. Read verse 68. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So now, remember that he talked to him after they left Egypt. Remember, he parted the Red Sea and all of that. So they left Egypt. So now he's telling them, the Lord going to bring y'all into Egypt again. They understood what that meant because they knew they were slaves in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? That's why Moses had to go to Pharaoh and say, let my people go. So they understood that Moses was saying, the Lord going to bring y'all back into slavery again. How? With ships. How did our ancestors get to America? Slave ships, right? Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. He said, you ain't going to see your homeland no more again when this happened. Read. And there, and there, when y'all get off them slave ships over there, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What was the first thing they did when they took our ancestors off them ships? 
They sold us, right? Sold to Master Charles in Virginia. Sold to Master Lee in Texas. We were sold, right? Read. For bond men and bond women. For slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. The word buy means to save or redeem. And no man shall save you. Not Martin Luther King. Not Malcolm X. Not Harriet Tubman. Not Frederick Douglass. Nobody's going to save you until Christ returns. You see what I'm saying? So now I'm going to ask you a question. If Moses said all these things were going to happen to the children of Israel, and we are the only people that these things happen to, right? Who are we? We are the children of Israel. That's correct. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Now we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.